Oh, made it almost. Wasted too much time. Alright, so today I found something yesterday that I thought you guys would be interested in. Since um the author of Soul Eater has already come back last week with a fire brigade of flames, it is just all too better that this week I'm doing a review on a new series by the same author of Dead Man Wonderland Smoking Parade. Now, for those of you who love Dead Man Wonderland and have been waiting for the manga to come back, maybe even for season two of the anime, which is definitely not going to fucking happen. I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry, I'm eating apple pie. Um... I'm sorry to say that it's never gonna fucking happen. Dead Man Wonderland is done. It's dead and done. It's like High School of the Dead. It's gone. It's never coming back. But we have this new shit. This nigga created. I gotta say, this is one of the funniest. Shut up. No, I'm gonna finish my pie first. It's rude for me to eat and review. I'm gonna do it anyway, but it's rude. So, as I was saying, this new shit is by far has one of the funniest opening chapters I've seen in a long time. Now, it's not a comedy. It's really not. It's not like how the author of Death Notes made Bakuman and it was a completely different t t tone sh change. No, this has the same sort of feel as Dead Man Wonderland. The art style is similar. It's not a dramatic um, change, but the feel is completely different. This world seems to be pseudo-advanced. It seems vastly similar the only major change in this world from like a regular modern day Tokyo or modern day Japan is that now people have advanced transplants and the transplants are a um are the main problem in the series. So I don't know if we're going to have a main villain like how we did in Dead Man Wonderland. I don't know if we're going to have like um shit come to our life or whatever, but apparently the issue is that the company that makes or maybe just transplants in general there is a flaw in the transplants where they can invade an individual's mind and drive them completely and fucking sane it is the weirdest shit ever yo i'm yo i'm said i told you guys th this chapter was funny it's funny because of what happens to me in all honesty all of this shit made me laugh like so goddamn much the nigga's sister had had no legs for like a long time. She just recently got the transplants done. Her legs are fine. It's all walking and good and happy. And she's about to throw a birthday party with her, her two friends, for her little brother who just turned 15 year old, years old. Um, his name is... Hold on. I have it right here. Let me not fuck it up. Kakujo Yuko. Kakujo Yuko. I can't tell because it's... Japanese, whether his first name is Kakujo or his last name is Yuko or what, whatever. I, I don't fucking know. It's Japan. It's, I can't tell if the the person who translated it switched them on purpose or not to make it easier. But either way, Kakujo Yuko, that's the main character. About to throw a birthday party for this fool. His sister goes so motherfucking insane. Oh my god. Yo, I, when I saw that this nigga's all, when these bitches were dead... And then this nigga's arm and leg was cut off on some full metal alchemist shit. I was like, yo, this bitch is crazy. Now, at that time, you didn't see the whole transformation that she went to. But she was still going crazy, son. She was losing her fucking mind. Yo, she cut off the nigga's fingers and hands and legs. Yo, she used his fingers as candles for his cake. That's fucked up. Yo, that shit had me dying when I saw that. 
<laughs> Yo, I have a very sick, twisted sense of humor, so you cannot judge me. Fucked up things make me laugh. Um, so, we go through that. She starts to transform, and she gets this, um, like, Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter bunny hat on. I ha- it reminds me of, like, playing Arkham City in that side mission for the Mad Hatter, where you put on the, the a mask on Batman that was, like, bunny-like. It reminded me of that. It was sort of sick and twisted and yet still playful. Uh, she goes, starts crazy, starts going crazy, and at one point, she asks, who are you? So it's clear that the... The transplant not only invades the mind, but it overrides memories. It fucked her up so much that she didn't even recognize it. Now these, now the heroes or whatever, come busting through the house, start beating the shit out of the, the this nigga's sister, and they start explaining what the fuck's going on. How apparently less than, <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. Uh, less than 1%, 0.2% of all transplant patients with these transplants have this happen to them. It, they go crazy, it overruns their brain, and they get this weird cartoonish mask that over co- uh, covers over their face. Now, I'm wondering how... A vi- I imagine the villain is probably, or villains, are probably the only people who are able to, one, get... To maybe recover their mental states after having the the tra- the mask overcover their face, or the mask is so overcovering their face and so overridden their mind that it actually has evolved to the point of it creating its own personality. That's my take on it. But you know they're busting in there. This fool is so stupid. He still sees his sister who cut his leg off, goes insane, and is clearly lost her fucking mind. Has no memories of him. At that point, at least, he goes and tries to defend her. He gets his he gets his shit fucking wrecked, son. Yo. For him to even be alive at the end of the chapter is extraordinary for me. Um, he goes through that. At the end, they pull some bullshit where the sister still remembers him, even though in the fir- halfway through the chapter, she forgot him, but then... It, it was some bullshit at the end. I didn't really like the ending of the chapter, but it's a first chapter. It's just supposed to lay the groundwork. Now, I have a lot of questions for this shit. I want y'all to read it, see what y'all think. I am not going to review this weekly, if it even is weekly. I think Dead Man Wonderland was a monthly manga series, if I can remember. Yo, it was so long ago since I even, like, seen a dead man want to learn chapter i think the last time i saw it was in like in 2009 when high school of the dead was still pushing out new episodes or some shit like oh my god i was like a freshman in high school back then but fuck it um that shit is happening i so far like the series i will continue to read it i'm definitely not reviewing it i have not even decided if i'm going to start reviewing um the fire brigade of flames if I do, I've already missed one chapter, but even if I do, I'm not going to do it anytime soon because I have way too much on my workload, so can't tell you anything there. Um, read the chapter, like, read, subscribe. Oh, uh, one more thing. There, what the fuck is with the fucking clocks? The fucking clock mechanism thing was all over the fucking place throughout this entire manga. I mean, throughout this entire chapter. It's all, like, is that the theme? Are they going for, like, a techno steampunk hipster bullshit? Like, what the fuck is this? Anyway, that's my that's my review for the first chapter of Smoking Parade. Like, rate, subscribe. I will see y'all for whatever other shit I review. I don't fucking know what I do.